Hello, I'm Walt. And so this is a 2013 gem. ELXD. It's got a uh, burrito cart on the back. And a friend of mine said, hey, since this is your hobby, why don't you do this work for free for me? Because it's your hobby. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. And wouldn't you know it, all the batteries were dead. I do not like the setup they have with, with the nine eight volt batteries because there is no such thing as a eight volt charger. So in order to bring all these batteries back, I had to get a variable voltage uh, power supply. I used that power supply to bring back the eight volt batteries to near eight volts, then hooked up three batteries together to become 24 volts so I could put them on an aircraft battery charger. This thing has a burrito warming device on the back of the truck and the access point for the batteries is covered by this burrito warming device, which means all of your access is underneath the seat, which is a pain in the backside. This is how the batteries came out of the car. And I know they came out of the car because I drew this picture to tell me how they go back into the car. So this is how they lay out in the car as it sits like this. We're on the driver's side and I'm going to reinstall all the batteries from the driver's side. And it's basically on the passenger side, it's positive forward and on the center and driver's side, it's positive toward the rear. And I'll go ahead and drop them in there. But with this diagram right there, that's the nose of the car. That's how they all hook up. So here we go. We're going to get them all in through the seat here. And it should take about half an hour of pain and suffering, but uh, they're going back in now. When I install batteries and hook them up, I use a fairly insulated wrench. I also use uh, high voltage gloves that were thrown away by a high tech company uh, that I found in the dumpster. But uh, it's better safe than sorry. Nice work, gl insulated gloves and a wrench that's got an insulated handle. So I've got the batteries installed and it's basically negative forward on the driver's side negative forward in the middle and positive forward on the passenger side. I left all the um, jumpers for the uh, circuit breaker and the uh, car hooked up and also you always want to make sure you shut off the power whenever you do anything on the battery. That should always be your last switch on. You can hook up the batteries in any sort of order you want to. Let me rephrase that. You need to hook it up according to the diagram, but it doesn't matter if you hook up this battery first or that battery first or this battery first because it's de-energized. But once you turn on the car, that's where your uh, energy circuit is completed. So just to wrap up the video, this is a shot of the batteries as they're laid out as they're about to go into the car. This is an overhead shot and you can see how the uh, batteries are lined up. The negative forward for the driver's side and the center and the positive forward over there on the passenger side. And then this last diagram, look at that cool slow push in, will show you where the jumpers go. Good luck with your install. Any questions, put them in the comments and take a look at that uh, gem car playlist.